Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Paul Mass video, and I should have done this earlier, but I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna do it now after I uh, finish um, uh, recording the, the data mine stuff, which actually, now that I think about it, this is the better time to do it, because now we actually know the units next month, so we can actually discuss this topic a bit uh, better, which, uh, by the way, again, if you guys haven't um, checked out the data mine stuff, it's on the channel, go check it out. Uh, would be cool. Click that subscribe as well. We do a lot of Pokemon Master stuff here, right? So, anyways, uh, the topic at hand. So, the Kanto Trio banner, they're back again for, I think, only 72 hours or something, right? So, it's just Singsu Blue, Singsu Leaf, and Singsu Red on a Poke Fair with 1.5% rates each, so 3.5% rate total, which is a good banner. It's a very, very, very good banner. However, does that mean you should summon on it right now, right? That's the issue at hand that we're going to discuss. So let's first look at the units at the moment. So let's first look at Blastoise. Blastoise is probably my favorite unit out of three overall, right? Um, great, great tank. Um, in terms of defensively, I mean, it's not that great of a self-healer, but he's also not terrible though, right? He's not terrible at self-healing, especially if you have like rain up as well. Right, it helps a lot. But yeah, very, very good defensive stats here. Uh, very, very slow, unfortunately, but can be sort of fixed with to the top over here. Right, which uh, gives you move gauge acceleration, which is very, very nice. And on top of that, to the top also has a pep rally one, which buffs the speed of your team as well when you have that up. So that, again, does help with the speed issue a bit. Right, then you have X defense hall, buffs your defense. Then you have hydro cannon. Uh, which does a lot of damage, and then Water Pulse, even though, like, you look at it like, wow, that special attack sucks, which is true, that special attack does suck, but with all the, you know, rain multipliers and stuff, he has some other multipliers in his grid, and then, you know, have Kyogre buff the special attack, yeah, Hydra can could do some, res you know, pretty respectable damage. As for your passive, you have Force Field 4, 50% chance of buffing special defense on your whole team when you use a move, Team Shout, uh, every time you get hit, you buff either attack or special attack or both for your whole team right and you have safety net which after you sink you have endurance your whole team so a very very good all around sort of uh support right can take hits can manage gauge right can buff crit can buff attack and special attack all by at a very snail pace right very very slow but it could do that eventually right uh, very very slow <laughs> special defense buffs as well. You got um, pretty straightforward defensive buffs. Basically, it does a bit of everything. Um, minus, I guess, accuracy and evasion, right? And just very very good, right? It's just very very solid support. And on the grid, you have stuff like Team Charge Tank Two and Team Fist Bump Two, which has a chance of healing you know your team, right? Three percent chance of healing uh, when you either use a move or get hit by a move. It uh, doesn't heal too much though, it's like just a bit, but every bit helps, I guess, sometimes. Two Water Pulse, Move Gauge, Refresh 3s. Um, Party Cards is terrible. <laughs> uh, although it has like one random use with Balvilla, I guess, with Palkia. Then you have like Endurance, if you want that. Wise Entry, plus two Special Defense when you come into the battle. Smart Cookie. Um, powers up removed when Special Defense is raised. Impervious can't, Stats can't be lowered. Quick Cure and Natural Remedy gets you out of a first time flinch, trap, confusion, and, and statuses, right? Uh, what else? There's just so many, man. Uh, move NPR 3 onto the top so you can max out your team's crit, or else you can't max out without it, right? Racing Rain 2, Move Gauge, Acceleration, and Rain. Raging Rain 3, extra 3% damage in Rain. Uh, refreshing Rain heals you every time you attack in Rain. Adrenaline is not that useful. Um, Propulsion 2 on a Hydro Cannon, also not like extremely useful. Uh, move Gauge Refresh 4 on Hydro Cannon as well. So yeah, it's just really, really good solid all around stuff, right? Uh, is it necessary? Do you have to have Blastoise? Uh, the answer is no, you don't really have to have Blastoise. Uh, there definitely are a lot of units that are, you know, um, nowadays that do very similar things to Blastoise, right? Uh, obviously no one's exactly like Blastoise because that would make no sense. <laughs> Why would you have two exactly same units out there? Right, but you know, for example, like Scyther, you, Scyther basically has Blastoise's training move, right? The BP Scyther. 
And then you got stuff like the new Swallow coming out, right? Swallow and Faulkner. Um, that Max out crit can buff both, or Max can also, you know, with a chance of NPR, Max out both um, attack and special attack for your team as well at a much, much faster pace than Blastoise can. Right? It can take hits okay-ish, right? With its gimmicks. With a two-turn move. But, yeah, there definitely are, you know, Kiawe also kind of similar um togepi right they there are definitely units that do similar things so if you like miss out on blastways it is not the end of the world but uh the one thing that makes blastways uh, really really good all right much better than i'd say probably all the ones i mentioned before well maybe not not that much better but definitely you know really good is uh just wire type you run on the rain team you get big damage on hydro cannon as well because not only do you buff all that stuff you also do really really good damage on hydro cannon which is really good um especially if you have rain team this is definitely a really really good unit to pick up but again at the moment is it really worth summoning on this well let's just talk about the first the other uh units as well um charizard you guys know about charizard it's ran charizard don't not spend too much time on it just a pretty standard damage dealer right you can max crit max special attack if your mega charizard x also maxes your um, attack does lower your defenses though, and also, uh, yeah, uh, can max your speed as well. And then Blast Burn, big damage, basically fire type move, which again, since you're a fire type, you can take advantage of Sun, right? Mega Charizard, really, really great offensive stats. Um, okay, your speed too, right? Or not okay, it's pretty good speed. They have Propulsion, Piercing Gaze, so your Blast Burn doesn't miss. Move Gate Refresh 4 on all your moves, which is nice. And then your Grit doesn't... I mean, you need to have, like, Sync Nuke over here with Haymaker and Solar Flare 5. Then you have Speeding Sun. Makes you faster than Sun. This is extra 2 times multiplier to your Sync move when you have max uh, physical attack. Just, you also have, like... You have Flare Blood stuff, but ignore it. It's terrible, right? Then Juvenate 6, max out your gauges after you Sync. So, yeah, he's... Pretty standard, still really, really good. Um, definitely not the best striker anymore, right? Like it was um, a while back, but still very, very, very good, right? Still a very, very good, solid striker. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's not much talk about him. <laughs> it's just very good. Does big damage, right? Everyone, everyone knows knows our boy Red. And Venusaur over here uh, has potions with Master Healer, right? And if I could find it, <laughs> um, where's the potion? Oh, there, there it is. Master Healer 2, NPR on potions. Then you have Mega Healing, which decreasing will counter by 1, and then Mega is being stored by 2. And then uh, gives gradual healing to your whole team, so it's a big healer, right? Big healer. Razor Leaf is an AoE 2 gauge move that debuffs your opponent's defenses, right? So it's like Blastoise's pass, except debuffing the opponent's defenses. Either one or the other, or both. Alright. Um, and then you have Venomous 4, which is 50% chance of badly poisoning the opponent's team. Alright, which is also nice as well. You could run Venus were definitely in some poison stall comps. And then you have Frenzy Plant, which it's very, very hard, right? Um, would be even better once we do have Grassy Terrain. And then Drelin, minus 2, Sync of Kendo, when you use the sync move first time in battle All right as for the stats uh this is mega venus war special attacks not like that great but like it's fine right definitely fine um speed socks right and then your special defense is good defense is not bad hp is very very good right so you could tank you could do damage with frenzy plant right toxic power five extra 50 percent to your frenzy plant damage put in toxin two one takes more damage from poison, right? Got speeding sun, help with the gauges in sun, healing sun to healing uh, in sun as well. Um, that's not very relevant. Um, that's a sync nuke for defense uh, debuffs, right? Uh, HP advantage four if you care about that. And yeah, that's basically the 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 relevant stuff. So yeah, again, all three of them are very very good. Uh, still, um, I'd say the other two more so than Sing Tzu Leaf. Sing Tzu Leaf is just in like a really weird spot right now. Just the meta is not like super great for her. But she is a free, you know, although it takes a while. But she is basically a free 1.5k master mode stage, right? 
um, from toxic stalling the opponents. Okay, so now in terms of... Is it worth summoning on this banner at the moment? If we're looking at, like, the units that are coming out this month, there are definitely some really, really good ones, right? Um, Sing Su Liya's definitely nice, right? And Lear is insanely good. Lear is insanely good. Um, yeah, Lear is probably... That's... Lear is definitely a top-tier unit. So... Here's the thing, though. Lear's banner goes all the way into, like, pretty late next month, if I remember correctly. So, you could... I guess... I, 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 I guess you could, like, wait. Like, if you want to, like, summon on Lear or not. I, I know this is about these guys, but it's also relevant, right? Because, again, Lear would be a very, very, very... Another great banner to, to, to summon on, since there's, like, three Pokefairs on that banner as well. And then the other two are four stars, so again, the chances of getting everyone is all pretty high, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, Lear, Lear's Banner, actually, never mind, it goes to the 13th. Oh, no, 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 I mix up. Leon's, uh, Sing Su Leon is the one that goes into uh, Deep next month. In that case, if you're, like, deciding between, like, Leon and the Anniversary Units, you could wait, you could wait on that. So, if you're deciding between, like, Leon and these guys, you could maybe go for these guys first. Because, again, they're only here for 72 hours in comparison, right? Uh, Lear does go away a bit sooner. So, most likely we won't know what the anniversary units are before Lear's banner goes away, I think, right? So, that is something to consider. And, again, like, this month's units are already insane. And this is not the second anniversary yet. So, with how good these units are this month, just imagine how powerful the second anniversary units are. Because these are the first anniversary units, right? And these are really, really good as well. So just imagine what the how strong the second anniversary units could be. Again, we don't we don't have info yet, um, and very, very likely we won't get any info before this banner goes away. I am tempting to say maybe save, right? Save for the second Annie. Especially if you already have, like, a copy, right, of, of these units, right? Again, like, stuff like, like, red is definitely not necessary, right? Definitely not necessary. Um, ho is free. You can use ho, right? Obviously, I do think red's better than ho, but if you just, if you just need red to beat some, like, fire weak stage, ho is more than enough, right? More than enough, right, to beat that. Um, Blastoise, again, we mentioned there are other substitutes out there, right? Venusaur is very unique. I don't think there's that many substitutes. Uh, that does, like, what, Venusaur, like, everything that Venusaur does, right? But, uh, but at least there are multiple units that could do what Venusaur does overall, right? So, and I, and I do think they will come back. In a few months later, right? Maybe sometime around Christmas. I'd say, or a bit before Christmas, maybe. A bit before Christmas, they probably would run back. So I'd probably just save uh, the gems for the second anniversary first. And then, if you really, really still need these guys, and maybe go on the rerun. But if you, I mean, summon on these, it's not like the worst decision of your life either. So, yeah, I mean, if you have like money, right? If you, if you, if you spend money on this game, whale a bit or or you know buy gems and sure you could definitely go for this one right because again it's a good banner it's a good banner it's just that what's coming might be just better right might be very 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 good as well so uh anyways so that's really this one i guess hope you guys really want to guys in the comments down below like show us finish for channel for some more fun uh content and um for those who probably already pulled on this banner which i'd assume you know there would be um Good luck. Uh, hopefully, y'all got what you wanted. All right. Um, so, yeah. Hope y'all got what you wanted. And if you guys are pulling, uh, good luck to you as well. Whatever you're pulling on, or if you're not pulling. So, uh, have fun, folks. Stay safe. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take a bit of a rest now. <laughs> After all that, please love videos tonight. So, have fun, folks.